So one popular adjustment is to adjust the speed limiter so you can take the factory limit out of it and adjust it higher for drag racing, off-road racing, whatever. However, there are some complications from it, and I'm going to show you those now. If you're tuning a Silverado, I believe 2014, 2015, and back had a smaller 3-inch drive shaft on them, and the Silverado is very very susceptible to shattering uh, speeds over 100 miles per hour 110 is what folks are reporting anyway i don't know it to be a fact but there's enough people out there that have talked about them now i think it's 2017 and up they switched gm switched to a five inch drive shaft on it and i don't know that i've heard enough about these to know that there's a problem with that truck but there again these are a cardboard filled sound deadening type of drive shaft that aren't really designed for high performance. They're really designed for economy and quietness. So you need to be a little careful with it and make sure that, uh, you know, you're not getting yourself into any trouble. Now, thankfully, if you've got a car or a truck that you're not quite sure about the drive shaft, there's enough aftermarket companies out there that are making really nice aluminum drive shafts even carbon fiber stuff. So there's plenty of options. It's a weak link in the in the system that you need to be aware of. You can also Google Chevy Shake and see all of the problems that people have had with the factory drive shafts and the Silverados and the shaking that you get driving those trucks from 35, 40 miles per hour and on up. So it's not an unheard of problem. And like I said, it's just something you need to be aware of before you tune for something higher speed that could get the truck and you into a lot of trouble. Okay, so now let's take a look at an HP tuners. Now there's a couple of things before you get started on this. Now this is a stock file for a 4.8 uh, liter Sierra 2012. So I always do a couple of things really quick to make sure that the program shows you all the values. If you go to edit and view, Always make sure you're not on advanced. Advanced will show you everything. Also, too, we're gonna not going to change anything here in the engine on the RPM limiter. We can do that later uh, if we need to, but uh, for right now, we're just going to concentrate on the Speedo. So anyway, click on Speedo. Uh, if, when you go to limiter here, it will show you what that it's limited by fuel and what the two speeds here uh, in the first one here in the speed limiter 2 are like anything else in HP tuners if you mouse over and hold the mouse over these it'll tell you what it is and this first one here is speed at which the engine fuel delivery is disabled the second one is speed limiter 2 which is disabled it's two different uh, if you remember from the dyno file that we did on how to dynalog horsepower these are the paths that they use so anyway also, too, with these trucks, to kind of go back to this, I don't think I, I've ever run into this on the cars. Um, Camaro, CTSV are the two that I've tuned the most. Um, but over here under source, on the truck, you need to go off this GMLAN and go to calibration. Once you go to calibration, then you can set these speeds to whatever you want. On this particular truck, I'm only going to set it to 120. Uh, we don't need to go any anything beyond that. That truck's really not capable of getting there. It's probably going to be about 110 miles per hour before everything uh, starts to cut out anyway. It's a quarter mile truck uh, with just a, a cam and uh, uh, nothing really else. So anyway, if you remember also too, we talked about doing the uh, the file, uh, read and write a file. So read all, scan the file or save the file to your desktop um, with uh, with a path that you can remember. That way, if you screw anything up in here, you can always revert back to that file and reload it back into the ECU. Uh, make the changes you're going to make here. We're going to change the speed limiter, save it as the new file name, then upload it. I'll leave a link up here to the other um, HPT file or the HPT uh, video on how to read and write a tune. Uh, it's very useful for all this. 
Uh, so you should be good to go here. Anyway, it's very, very simple, very, very easy. You just need to make sure of, one, that you've got everything else in the drive line that's capable of handling this, and then it's just a matter of putting in the mile per hour that you want. Uh, one more quick thing here. You are limited on this. It tells you in here in the bottom, like I said, when you run the mouse over this, it tells you a lot of information down here, and 318 miles per hour is the highest you can set that for. I don't think that's going to be a problem on this vehicle. So anyway, just a quick and down and dirty. I wanted to show it really quick. I've had a couple of questions on that. Uh, it's very, very simple, very, very easy. And, you know, a 98 mile per hour speed limit is uh, is okay. But uh, if you're doing any track type of, type of work or, you know, racing at all, uh, you know, 98 and a quarter mile comes up pretty quickly. So anyway, I appreciate it. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, Give me a thumbs up and uh, we'll catch you on the next one here pretty soon. Thanks.